Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about how to use a built-in feature in Acrobat to measure the PDF drawing. The first thing we're going to do is to activate the measurement tool. We click on the toolbox button, which says more tools. Then find the measuring feature. Click open. Now this has been added to your toolbar. When you click on that, then you should be able to see something like a measuring tool. Click on that again. Now we have distance, parameter, or area. The next thing we do is to have the right scale. Let's check the drawing scale. You can see the scale is uh, a quarter inch equal to one foot. Right click on the mouse. All right, just to do a right click. Then you will see something like a change scale ratio and precision. A quarter inch equal to one foot, that will be one inch equal to four feet. We're trying to measure the length of the opening by picking the distance tool. You can see the length of the opening is roughly about six feet. When you're done, you can pick your measurement and delete it. If we want to find out the perimeter of the working closet, what we can do is on the measuring tool, pick a second button. Make sure the scale is still one inch equal to four feet. Go around the closet. Click on each corner. Make sure the final point will be the same point you start with. So this way we form a closed loop. The perimeter is around 20 feet. Let's click on the measuring tool again and make sure your scale is the one inch equal to four feet. Uh, this time we're going to do the area of the bedroom. All you have to do is just to click the corners of the bedroom. But when you get to the final point, make sure it goes back to the point where you start to form a closed loop. Now we can see the square feet is about 141. The next thing we're going to do is to measure the pavement. Yeah, the scale this time is 1 inch equal to 20 feet. Therefore, you will have to right click, change the scale ratio, one inch equal to 20 feet. Click the last button, which is the area measurement. Just to click corners. When you get to the curved portion, make sure you slow down and click as many points as you could. So your tracing need to follow the shape. Make sure your final point will be the same point you start with. Now we're getting about 1200 square feet of the paving. Today we're looking at a free feature built in Adobe Acrobat software. I wish you enjoyed this exercise. We'll see you next time.